Why is this man apologizing for hating on passport bros? I made a whole video pretty much criticizing them because how I disagree with what they were doing. I even called it lame. It's more other things. That's not true. And I was dead wrong. They're haters. Exactly. I owe the passport bros an apology. What have you seen in terms of these dudes who don't have their stuff together but out there? Um, what have you noticed with that? Anything that stand out uh, to you, make you laugh? Yeah, yeah. I've seen cats come out here with Yeezys on, Yeezys and, and, and Nikes, and, and I'm looking at them. Bro, don't nobody care about that out here. What up, gents? Welcome to TSG Uncut. I am your host, Sean C. Listen, I came across this clip with the man in his car apologizing about being a passport bro hater. And then I thought to myself, people still butthurt about this? People still got a problem with guys going off to other countries and doing their own thing? And the answer is yes. Opportunity for them to go in search of spouses who they feel are gonna be more subservient to them and do what they want, basically some sort of indentured servitude. Bruh. You feel that you need to go to Antarctica to marry a polar bear. Get a polar bear. I'ma just keep it real. Oh my God, bro. Oh. And you think you're gonna come in that country and you're gonna take that bitch? Bro. I ain't protesting a goddamn thing. I mean, I ain't protesting shit to get you back to these United States. Stay your stupid ass over there. God. Nobody hey. wants you here. Nobody. Today we're gonna look at why this man says that he's wrong for hating on Passport Bros. We are gonna show the people that are still upset at Passport Brothers. Why men are just done with modern Western women. Why men are choosing to go overseas and so much more. With that being said, let's get started. There's not enough perfect women to go around. Bruh. And even if there is, they don't want you. Bruh. You can't be serious. And in addition to that, some of us evil, lazy women, oh we want God. love and affection oh. too. We don't care about you. You, Everybody can't get a kind, caring, loving woman. You're joking, right? Some of y'all are just gonna have to settle for us evil, lazy women. Hell no. Just imagine some dude, some guy somewhere trying to talk to one of them women that's coming at me like that. Bruh. What impression is he gonna get from dealing with one of them? Not a damn thing. When you see dudes saying they got their passport and they about to go overseas to find their wife, and you see they have the initials SYSBM in their bio, which is short for Save Yourself Black Man, those dudes are tricks. What about you? These dudes have a firm understanding that they're so socially awkward Bruh. and so socially inept that they need to pay to have access to coochie. <laughs> Right now, you, you still have people who are still trying to slander Passport Bros. And I know you've heard some of the things said about Passport Bros. Yeah. Are you inclined to agree with them, disagree with them? Well, I keep it thoughts. a buck with you, man. I don't, I don't call myself a Passport Bro. Right. I call myself a Passport Man. Oh, they got the Passport Kings now. Like, that's the new one. The Passport Kings? Okay, okay. Let's just, let's just keep it real. You know me, I, I was never really wanted to travel for um, for that. I feel like the main goal is always the money. Bruh. How do I go somewhere to increase the money, the potential money, yeah. right? I'm not going for the box. Like, let's just keep it honest. That's what people, some people are traveling for. And I, I gotta keep it real with you. I think that's lame as I don't know what. You're, you're traveling, yeah. you live overseas, and you call it yeah. lame? I think that if, you, if it, I say if you travel just for that, then yes, that's lame as hell. I, yeah, I, I'll put that up for anybody. But it's interesting that your reaction is to attack the men who are leaving and tell them that they're losing who aren't good enough to get a woman in the West. Yep, once again, it's the man's fault. Modern women in America still have these high unrealistic expectations of the men that they're looking for. And these expectations are put on to every man. And it's just not possible for all the women who say these things to get the exact man that they want Bruh. because it tends to be the exact same man that every woman wants. You'd rather deal with a sassy man with money or a masculine man that's broke. Sassy. Easy, sassy man with money. Sassy man with money. I'll take a sassy nigga. Meek Mill sassy. Oh, hell no. I'll take, I'll take the other guy. A sassy man that has money because that's already my baby daddy. That's what man that's broke because I can't deal with no nigga that's sassy. I'll take sassy because I'm sassy too. I'm going to take the sassy man for a hundred. Is he gay or is he sassy? <laughs> kind of both. Yeah.
And bro, a sassy me I deal with that shit any day, like merch on my soul. If he's spending the money, then yeah, I can go with sassy. I'm going masculine and broke. I deal with a sassy man, bitch. My nigga sassy right now. Right now. A sassy man with money, cause he got the money. That's where the money at. That's where I'm going. Take sassy. If we were dating, would I need to pay for your hair and your nails? Honestly, yeah. You must be out of your goddamn mind. What gives you that mentality? I mean, like, if you want me to look good, then you gotta pay for it. Population. But if you were doing it before I came into your life, why do I have to start doing that now that I'm your man? Um, I would say because you would want me to look good, so you would want me to do those things. Don't be scared. Mm -mm, don't be scared. The average man outside don't care if you got on Steve Madden's or E. St. Laurent. Bruh. He don't. That shit that y'all be competing with on your own. A nigga gonna fuck you if you got a Michael Kors bag or if you got a Birkin. A nigga's gonna fuck you if you in a Honda or if you in a Bentley. Those are not things being put forth by men as requirements. That's y'all competing with each other. That's not our problem. Does height matter? Of course it does. Step on the scale. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Don't laugh! I'm not going on a scale. You should love a girl for who they are. You should love a guy for who they are, regardless of height. Because it's the truth. She knows it. If you're, you care you're being about a coward. weight, you're ridiculous. And you if you care about height, you're ridiculous. Yeah, you're absolutely right. It's funny to me how a man can be excluded from dating because of his height. Bruh. Even when that man is still technically taller than that woman, they don't want to talk to him unless he meets a certain number. A man can't change his height. But it's funny to me how a woman who can change her weight don't want to talk about that. Bruh. And if a man has that as an expectation, then he's the bad guy. These are the little things that men are just getting sick of with modern women today. Secondly, with the ladies, height. In what world does someone's height dictate how well they're gonna treat you Bruh. or how good of a husband or father they're gonna be? There's nothing about that man's height that's gonna make him a better human being. And again, I'm not saying that you should be dating folks who are necessarily like super shorter than you, but you're 5'2 and he has to be six feet, why? That's a good question. So I've dated very successful men and also very broke men. Bruh. I've realized that successful men really don't prioritize women because they're already successful because they know that they can easily get any woman at any point that they want and if you're not doing what they're asking of when they ask of they're simply just not going to continue forward with you broke men on the other side they're so caring they're so willing to just simply make you happy that's really all they have to offer you can't have the best of both worlds one of the biggest issues salary the expectation that their man or the gentleman that they're dating should be making the six figure the six figure Damn. number I understand the desire to want to be with someone who's making six figures because you kind of just need that in order to function. But this expectation that that's what someone should be earning in order for them to be worthy of you is impractical. And I'm going to tell you why. That They could lose their job in any given moment. Bruh. So if you're giving someone a chance based on how much money that they make and tomorrow they are unemployed and homeless, then you're now stuck with the dude who's unemployed or homeless because you only mess with him because of how much money he made. What's wrong with that? Modern women aren't willing to build with a man. Modern women are aren't willing to do the work with a man, but they want to be at the finish line and receive all the benefits of the hard work that he's put in. And this is one of the reasons that men end up getting their passports, end up looking for other options. Should we really be crapping on the men that decide to make these choices? Bruh. It's a movement where a lot of women are rejecting the traditional stereotypical gender roles and traditional values and customs, such as marriage, such as monogamy, such as having children and other feminine characteristics. They're basically attempting to eliminate every single stereotypical gender role. Are men and women equal? Actually, women are better than men. What do men bring to the world? Literally nothing. Vibes? Just everything. Everything is brought to by women. This is what we have to deal with now right? A lot of these women in this movement have become extremely entitled, hypocritical, aggressive, and just plain out disrespectful to all of the men and women out here that prefer traditional roles and values. So body count does not matter because I have over a hundred bodies. She belongs to the streets. I'm a mom of seven and I'm 33. With being a mom of seven, Damn! do you think that a woman of multiple children is still capable of finding someone. Oh, hell no, she's not finding a rich man. As a matter of fact, that woman do damn good to find any man. Because a man ain't gonna take no woman that age willingly. Not, it's rare. 
There I am. Are just fed up with the women that are very rude, aggressive, overly masculine, disrespectful, entitled, hypocritical, promiscuous. Bruh. A lot of these modern day attributes of a lot of women. If I was married, I still want to put my husband first. Damn! Oh, my Wait life. a minute, hold on. Whoa, hold on a second. Okay. That could be why he doesn't okay. want to get married, right? If you're saying, like, even if we get married, I'm putting myself first and I'm not putting you first. Mm. If I was a dude and I heard that, like, I would definitely say, okay, then but I'm not going to marry you. It's about coming together. You know what I'm saying? It's also about a union. And I'm saying, mm -hmm. what I'm saying is, is there's a lot of people nowadays that doesn't understand what a union is. And neither do you. It is exhausting. It's emotionally exhausting dealing with a woman who's highly neurotic, highly disagreeable. Everything bothers her. Nothing is ever good enough. She has a problem with every minuscule thing that pops up. And then she just exaggerates problems and issues to the point to where the only thing you want to do is get away from her. Oh, yes, sir. Absolutely, sir. And that is a very real thing that a lot of men experience. I've dealt with it. And as I said, it's not intuitive when you deal with a woman after you've dealt with a woman like that and you move on to another woman. It's just heuristics. You already know. I've seen this before. I've seen this story right. before. This woman is going to be a headache. I just don't know what's wrong with me. Either. And that's essentially what we try to get away from. I don't trust you, motherfuckers. Women are shaming men and insulting them for trying to do better for themselves. Bruh. I hear women talking about they want to do better for themselves all the time. So what's wrong when a man wants to do that for himself? Bruh. Unfortunately, some women in America are not submissive. They are way too masculine and they don't want to cater to a man. You damn right I play it safe. Let's be clear. Y'all are not waiting on Pookie and Ray Ray to show up and save you. Y'all are waiting on the quote unquote Russell Wilsons to come up and save you. Damn! And some of them do. And you still don't fucking appreciate it. Bruh. You damn right I don't. Which is why you're seeing so many of them saying, fuck you. You are a selfish bitch. I'm tired of dating in my 40s. I'm tired of men not knowing what they want. Bruh. Literally minutes before he shows up, another girl messages me about him. He called. So naturally, I'm just annoyed as because every single guy that decides to make plans with you either flakes, ghosts you. They don't really care about the relationship anymore. The rest of you men feel the same way. And eventually, they just find another dream girl Bruh. and that girl takes your place. I also feel like our generation has normalized like hooking up with someone first before you date them. But you created this problem. It's funny to me how you have so many women complaining about the dating and relationship situation Bruh. when a lot of their own actions put them in the exact position that they're in. When they're young and beautiful, they want to be able to do anything and everything that they want. And then they will put off getting with the good man that's in their life to put career first or or being a hot girl first. Bruh. Women today are more disrespectful of men, but now men are getting really frustrated at this. Well, men get tired too. Men get tired of not being appreciated, Bruh. disrespected, Bruh. emasculated, talked to any kind of way. Men get tired too. Uh, this hey. man get up and go to work and do whatever he gotta do to provide for you in this household and can't get a thank you. Hell you talk to him man. any kind of way. You talk to him like he's one of your kids because your mama used to talk to your daddy like that. God, so hey. now you want to talk to him like that. You tear this man down with your words. Instead of building him up, you tear him down. You're too sensitive. I don't think black women care. We do not care that we don't care. We literally don't. Like we care, we don't care. No one gives a fuck. True, because we never cared about you to begin with. Let's be clear. Which is why you're seeing so many of them saying, fuck you, I'll be alone. I'll go somewhere else. But these are the men that did life right. All of his ducks were in a row. These are the men to where you make them look bad. Bruh. And again, they live their lives right. And if you don't know what Passport Bros is, it's a bunch of men. It's mainly like black men, right? They're going overseas. They're meeting women and they're getting married and, you know, they're happy. And I'm happy for them, you know. I'm always down. I'm always for people having a happy relationship, being happy, having children, you know, and just living their lives. I wish you the best of luck. But then we got a problem now Bruh. because we have a group of black women and it's mainly the ones that consider themselves black masculine. Bruh. And they're upset that the Passport Bros is going overseas and marrying these women and they have a problem with it. You pay attention to the Passport Bros like 
they're getting women from like the DR, Colombia, yes. uh, the Philippines, Thailand. Mm-hmm. Like women can that can speak very little English. Right. Women that don't have and, education. And not- you call us poor, uneducated, submissive, desperate women who are happy with your table scraps and rejects. Right. But if you truly believe we were getting your leftovers, the men you don't want anyway, then why do you sound so angry and defensive about it God, and try nice. to shame men for finding happiness here? That doesn't make sense. Women that need women them. are raised to be wives. Mm-hmm. They learn everything in the, in these other from, communities. from birth, from their father, from their mother, how to be a wife and how to support your men. Do you know how to do that? Women that need them. It's not even women Every- that need them. It's women that treat them with respect. So we don't. Y'all know y'all don't. So. Stop the cap. <laughs> Believe it or not, even though it's a developing country, there's a lot of women there that are educated as well, but still would prefer to be a wife and a mother first. Wouldn't you be thanking us for taking out your trash? And as for us Filipino women being uneducated, we have the same percentage of college graduates that you do. I didn't know that either. And what you call submissive is what we call being agreeable. That's all we want. I've not seen any women crying over passport bros. Are you blind? Are you blind? However, I have seen a lot of women laughing at passport bros. Because we can replace men like you with cats and dogs. They don't want you. But y'all have to literally go to another country because no other woman in your own country wants you anymore. You sound bitter. So many women are getting on social media and expressing their displeasure at the thought of passport bros. But what they don't realize is that they're also expressing disdain for those women over there. They disrespect them openly and they don't even seem to care about it. Keep barking, bitch. You come to traveling in Thailand and you talk shit about Thai women like that. And think about it, you're 38 and you're still single. Gotcha, bitch. Because no man wants you, even though men in your country doesn't want you. I'm afraid she has a point. You're just jealous because you cannot compete with us and look like you just need some attention. You're just jealous, bitch. That's so true. Yeah, like they go have girlfriends, they do this thing where they take their passports and they go and they travel. And they meet girls there who are really young and fit and pretty and feminine. And they make them their girlfriends and then they just have an arrangement where they travel back and forth. And she's like, that's a thing? I thought that was just like an internet thing. Like, like no, it's really happening. And the reason is because feminism. Fast forward to now in Bangkok, Thailand, I feel like the differences are huge. It's so refreshing to know that the women here have not been indoctrinated and have not been conditioned to think like a lot of these Western women do. In general, the women you'll meet here are very kind, very feminine, very energizing and playful and easygoing. And I think it's a lot more authentic from the get-go when you- Now, right. like I said, you know, if I wanted to go out and meet women, yeah, there's all kinds of beautiful women out here. All kinds from all over the world. It's not just Thai women. It's, it's all kinds of women coming to this place. The main thing is to find that center within, that peace within. And I'll keep it a buck with you, man. It had been decades since I found that piece. I kind of remembered, oh yeah, this is what it's like to not be stressed out. Bruh. How far does a thousand pesos in the Philippines go? I'm gonna find out. First things first, got some movie tickets. In America, you'll never see this. The movie theater comes with free popcorn. We saw that new Spider-Man movie, so good. And then we got an insane amount of food for the price. I tried Hollow Hollow for the first time, it slapped. Karaoke is like two tokens. Bruh. Games are like one token, it's insane. We could have spent all day here if we wanted to. And that's a pretty good day for 18 bucks. Now, a lot of Western women are upset in my comments saying that I'm broke or that it's embarrassing that I'm not spending enough. These countries are beautiful. You don't have to spend a lot of money. I think that exposes a toxic part of Western dating culture where the amount of money spent on the date is the value of the date or the value of the man. Colombia is exactly like Thailand, my friends. Every girl you see, you can pick her up. But when she's too, too, too hot in Colombia, then maybe her boyfriend is in the narco. <laughs> and in Thailand, if she's too, too, too hot, maybe she's lady boy. Nobody wants that. What up, what up, TSG Uncut in the building. What's happening? Bruce Rain, what's happening to everybody? You moved to right. Thailand. What has been the thing about moving to Thailand that people don't understand? So I would say the first thing, man, I'm going on six months now of living over here in Thailand. Um, of course, everybody talks about the, the bad, right, bad stuff that, that happens out here, but there's so much more out here other than that, right? You don't need to go out necessarily partying all the time. It's not about the women. Definitely isn't. Now that it's a byproduct of moving out here, you, you can you can do that. But if your main focus, like my focus, was to find peace of mind, right? And that's the only thing I was really searching for. I wasn't really 
women to be here. Uh, you know, always you can always meet women. That wasn't my focus, but my main focus was to find a way to clear my mind, to not have to worry about going outside and always keeping my guard up everywhere I went. You don't have to do that out here. I mean, you always got to keep your head on the swivel anywhere you go. Man, the, the main thing was getting here and finally having a chance to understand myself in silence. All I do know is I wake up and there's peace here, man. There's blissful peace. I would say if you're going to leave the country, do so to heal. Don't don't bring the chaos with you. Leave the chaos where right. you were. Come here to heal. If you like today's video, consider subscribing to the channel and becoming a gent. And if you want to see more great content just like this, then you're going to watch this video right here because I promise you, you won't want to miss it.